Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about a cron expression and how to schedule an uh, batch apex class using a cron expression, right? Um, so if you haven't watched my previous episode where I talked about how to schedule, how to create a scheduler, and then how to schedule using an out-of-box apex functionality, I would highly encourage you to do so. I would put the link in the i button above. Um, so why do we need a cron expression, right? So Salesforce out-of-box functionality has a limitation. So let me show you what I meant by that. So if you go to setup, right? Uh, so first thing first, you should have an org, right, to do this. If you haven't registered for an org, please register for one, right? So I've logged into my org, okay? So I'm in a setup page, right, nice and easy. So go to Apex here, okay? So I'm going to go to Apex. Now, so if you go to run schedule, so schedule apex here right so you can see that this is a pretty fancy looking ui with a lot of functionality here where you can schedule weekly you can schedule monthly right that's perfectly fantastic now the problem is if you wanted to schedule let's say at every 10 minutes you can't do that right because the only option you have you what you get to choose at this point is just an hourly basis right 12 a.m 1 a.m 2 a.m right you can't pretty much do every 10 minutes right so that's my today's requirement I wanted to start scheduling every 10 seconds, uh, sorry, every 10 minutes, right? So my class should be triggering every 10 minutes, okay? So how to do that? We can do that using Chrome Expression. So there's one of the website, well, one of the site I, I would highly encourage you to check it out. So this is called Free Online Chrome Expression. So it will teach you how to write a Chrome Expression. So you can see that first is seconds, then we have minutes, then we have an hour, then we have day, then we have month. So this is ex exactly how we write it, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to do um, something um, similar uh, today. So we will uh, write a Chrome expression uh, where I can schedule a class every 10 minutes. Okay. So let me look at the, go to the scheduler here to see if we got anything running. Okay. Um, so we got, we delete this one because it's got nothing to do with our task today. Okay. So what we're going to do, let's jump into developer console, right? I hope you guys know how to do, go to developer console is by going to the scaregog icon, right? And, and then developer console, right? Pretty straightforward. Nothing fancy here. So this is a class, which I have implemented last time. And, and as you can see, this is a pretty basic class, right? It implements schedule interface and then implements a simple method, right? That's nothing fancy here, right? Now, if I wanted to uh, schedule this, say, every 10 minutes, I really have to use a cron expression, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, anonymous window, right? So I'm not going to create a separate class or not create a separate method, right? I rather can do that using anonymous window. So go to debug, execute anonymous window, right? So I'm going to write a cron expression, okay? So the cron, so the string equals to, yeah? So the first is the second. Yeah, I'm going to put zero. Then I'm going to put a minute. So what I'm going to do, I will leave this here. This is a minute, okay? you got to give a space, right? And then I'm going to put, this is the uh, day, right? And this is the week, yeah? And this is the... Um, month and then we have a year right so this is pretty fancy okay so what we're gonna do I will use the system dot schedule method right so we're gonna do system so I'm not gonna do any change here okay I will show you what happens if I run this okay so I'm gonna do system dot schedule okay and I'm gonna give the name of the batch let's say new batch yeah job um, so, and then we're going to pass the cron string here, okay? And then I wanted to pass the instance of uh, the schedule BSL, yeah? So you can do pretty much here, something like this. It's pretty easy, right? So, okay, I'm going to maximize this window for you. And I'm going to execute it. All right, so it error out. So it says okay so sorry about that this is not a method so we're going to do schedule this is a problem with intelligence at times it gives you a wrong okay must be specified as integers okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to put a star uh it's going to do here i'm going to do one so let's see if it works now it doesn't work. So what I'm going to do, 
where I put this. Yeah. Okay. So now you got an error. Okay. So what does that mean? Right. The reason why I'm trying to fail it because to give you understanding how the Chrome expression works. Sometimes you learn better when you have an exception. Right. That's what I believe because exception gives you very better understanding of things. I don't mean to have an exception in the production, but I mean when you're doing something on the sandbox, right? So what I'm going to do, so I did this here. So it complains that, you know, the minutes needs to be expressed properly, yeah? Because you need to be, ugh, come on, it should be an integer, right? So what I'm going to do, I will just put zero here. So this is second, this is minute, yeah? It will run. No problem whatsoever. Okay. Now let's go back to the scheduler here. Okay, schedule. Sorry. Oh, come on. Schedule jobs. It's a new bad job. Next job gonna run at eleven. Okay. Right. That's that's fine. Pretty good. But this is not exactly what we wanted. We wanted to run every ten minutes, right? Okay. So let's go here. And now you might be tempted to think, mm, okay, every 10 minutes. So obviously what I can do, I can pretty much put, you know, every 10 minutes. That means starting from now, that means, uh, you know, 48 plus 10. So it should run at, you know, 10, uh, 58, right? That's, that's how it should be. Okay, let me delete it because you can't run uh, the multiple bad jobs with the same name. So it will complain. So you get tempted. Oh, okay, this is something I'm going to do every 10 minutes. All right. So I wanted to. So you expect that next job will start at 10.59. Yeah. No, it doesn't work that way, right? Because it started uh, after 11.10. So now to make it work exactly based on a requirement, right, that it should start from current time plus whatever it is, you have to do something similar. What we're gonna do, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do string, um, we're gonna do minute, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do string dot value of, okay. And so we'll do, uh, come on, I'm gonna do system, yeah, dot now dot um, minute yeah plus 10 yeah so what I'm gonna do I will feed this boy here and um, so instead of this okay so I'm gonna do this plus yeah and I'm gonna put this string up Okay, and what I do, I'm gonna delete it. Okay. All right. That's because, you see, this is another problem you're gonna face, right? So, what happened is, I'm, I'm actually, so this is another thing you have to be very careful, right? So what happens is, um, so you can't have a minute greater than 59. So in this case, you can see the time here, uh, 51 plus um, 10, it will become uh, 61. There is no such thing called 61, right? So if I do something like this, three, right? So that means current time plus three, so that should work, yeah. Right, so you can see that 1055. But I would highly encourage you not to use this approach, right? Because what happens is that if you're going to use that, you're going to start with, uh, let's say if you are at 58, it will say 58 plus three right so you have to put a condition in check okay so something like this so if it is so 
Um, so you have to check that if the minute is 59, right? Uh, it should reset to, you know, one plus, uh, you know, it should reset to um, in the next, you know, two minutes, whatever time is, right? So you have to put that logic in place. So I'm not going to do that, but I'm just going to give you an idea how the Chrome expression works. So this is one of the pitfalls you have to be careful with, right? Uh, so like I uh, showed you, right, the, the exceptions, what you can get using Chrome expression, this is one of the thing, right? So I intentionally did that just to, you know, give you an idea, right, how the Chrome expression can fail, right? <clears throat> so this is very important. So... Yeah, I hope that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. So Chrome Expressions is very powerful. Read about it, play with it, you know, create a scenario, right? Work around the Chrome Expressions, right? It's very powerful. You can customize your um, schedule, sorry, schedule hours, right? Um, so yeah, that's 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 pretty much you can do. Yeah. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. So that marks the end of our basic introduction to Apex. Uh, programming for Salesforce admins, right? I hope I've covered to get you started, right? And that will give you some edge if you have never programmed before. And uh, it will give you that opportunity to get it started. And I would really like to thank you, everyone, for tuning in, right? Because uh, it plays an important role for me that uh, I create a content which you guys like it. Because at the end of the day, right? I do watch my own content at times, so I try to make sure that I try to create a content in a very simple way. I don't want to complicate stuff, but at the same time, I wanted to teach you guys based on my experience, right? You know, because there's no uh, fun teaching someone extra complicated stuff, right? And that person getting, uh, you know, overly confused, right? So that's exactly not what I wanted to do and never ever try to do that so yeah so i really had fun teaching you guys i hope you had similar fun right uh so that being said i hope you guys have a a great journey towards development right if that's what you're after if if that's not what you're after that's all well and good because i do understand that not everyone loves to do coding right? Programming is not everyone's cup of tea. I'm not saying they're not capable, but they're not interested, right? There are certain things like I don't like to do. It's not because I'm not capable of it, but I'm not interested, right? Those things don't drive me, right? So so I can understand that if you are someone like, ah, I don't care about coding. That's all well and good. That's great. At least I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that you, you took some time to watch this channel, right? So that being said, I would like to say adios to all of you. Take care. Bye-bye.